turning now to the music scene in Uganda, tell me what kind of artists are popular in Uganda and what kinds of music? Well, Uganda is no different from any other country uh, in the world. The popular acts are the ones that play on radio stations and TV and everything. It does not necessarily make them the best acts because sometimes the best music is not popular music. And that is a world phenomenon. We all know that, yeah. So we have this underground circuit where we, we try to... So my popular musicians for the mm -hmm. festival would not necessarily be someone you've heard on TV. But the popular... Give, give me some idea who the popular artists are. Well, the popular the ones in Uganda are like uh, Bobby Wine, Bebe Cool, and Chameleon, in that order. Okay. And the, what are the types of musics that they're playing? Well, um, it's, there's a new kind of music in Uganda. It's almost called Chidandali. And uh, that's the one they play, on, which goes with a certain beat, a popular beat. Yeah. which is a dance hall beat, something that is danceable to with, with sometimes very little message, but I mean, it's popular messages. Yeah. yeah. And you've got other forms of music. What, why is reggae so popular here in Uganda? Well, <laughs> reggae is a cliche around the world. There are lots of people. I think reggae cuts across all, all forms of art. It's one of the only music form genres that can be enjoyed by anyone. I think it's made popular by Bob Marley and everyone would like to relate. So you'll find lots of reggae nights here. And it's the only kind of music where I say it's, it has a regular platform. It's very vibrant here. Yeah. You find reggae night somewhere, reggae night on another day, reggae night on a Wednesday in another pub, reggae night on a Friday. Yeah. I think across the week there's somewhere where they're playing reggae music. And Jamaican artists tour into the country? Yeah, that is a um, dance hall. Uh, what he's actually doing is reggae raga. That's yeah. what is big, uh, big here now, and very many reggae raga artists are just coming to Uganda at the moment because the radio stations, the teenagers are all listening to this kind of things like Busy Signal, yeah. And what's happening on the underground music scene now? What's happening on the underground music scene? Yeah, well, with the foundations and a few other players in the market, we're trying to organize ourselves. So there are some, there's some more vibrancy since we started Baimba. And um, there are other helpers like uh, the uh, Alliance France, uh, Uganda German Culture Center, who also organize regular nights. At the moment, you have four, I think, three music festivals that also try to promote the underground music. One is organized by Zlaba, the street art festival. They also have a, a stage for these artists. And, um, and, and a few other artists who try to break into now bars. There are people trying to break into bars who are still yeah. on the underground movement. Before that, there was no live music scene, but it's coming up quite. The, I, I know for sure that Quella Band, Michael Wuma, um, Maureen Moruts of Moruts Band are having regular nights, at least in, um, in uh, hotels and bars. Now, that's what has given it more vibrancy because hotels and bars have somehow accepted it but we still yet to break into the, the television and, 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 radio. and, and radio, media. Yeah. And what kinds of music are we talking about when you say underground? Well, <clears throat> I would say uh, traditional fusions of music. I'm talking about live uh, performance of music, but in a traditional way. Many people, uh, the genre the world gives it is called world music because uh, it's quite a fusion of Western and our own culture here. So you find the lyrics are either coming from a traditional folklore kind of background or coming from a traditional story, but I mean, it's very rich in messages. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of music I'm talking about.